Oh, the exciting world of future technology. We already took a look at these glasses recently. Right now, I have my Nintendo Switch in front of my eyes. These are the Virtru or Virtru. I can never pronounce things. You should try to hear me say Shin Megami Tensei. I think I did it. But it's not about these, although we will be comparing that to these. After I made my video, another company called Nreal reached out to me and said, hey, but ours now. Let me get my Steam Deck and my Switch because we're gonna need them and then I'm gonna open this. Got him. Okay, wait. I sat down to record that video weeks ago. I had no idea what a disaster it was about to be. You see these? Yeah, these don't work. At least they don't work with the Switch. Why would you want a Nintendo Switch channel to talk about them then? And you might be wondering, then why am I talking about them? Well, because I tried to tell them that these didn't work with the Switch, at least not portably, which is the whole reason I would want these or want to to review these or talk about these at all. But they really didn't seem to care. In fact, every single day for the last almost two months at this point, they have emailed me the same message. Hi, Wood. I hope everything is well. May I know if you've already completed finalizing your content? Thank you. So, okay. If you want the video that bad that you're going to continually spam my inbox, I'll give it to you. I get very stressed out in this video, so I'm going to take a second to lower my blood pressure and eat some some food, which was very graciously provided by the sponsor of today's video, Factor. It's summer. You don't want to spend all day inside cooking, chopping, or going to the store to buy groceries. Also, yeah, you could order food online, have it delivered in the moment. You know that's going to cost way too much because the apps always overcharge you. And also, I can never find anything healthy when I look online on the apps. But Factor, they have keto meals, calorie smart, 500 calories or less. Like this chicken, mashed potatoes, and broccoli. Factor makes meeting your nutritional goals easier than ever by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals straight to your doorstep. Or your porch, you know, wherever you want to eat it. There's one guy, leaf blowing out here, and he won't stop. There's no leaves. It's summer. I don't know what he thinks he's blowing. Food's good though. Oh, thanks. While I have a second. Hop. Why don't you head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code BEATEMUPS50 to get 50% off your first order of Factor. Why is everything trying to frustrate me today? All right, whatever. Let's get back to the video. So here we go. To start, they sent me everything super haphazardly in just a big basic brown box. They even added in a, a free knockoff Chinese mobile phone. Take a look. A big mix mash of a box in here. Kind of feels like I went to the Texas State Fair and asked for the mixed bag of goodies. The glasses themselves, a loose cable. I also have a lightning to digital AV Apple adapter, a charger and an Nreal something. So immediately I have a lot of little things to... Do they just send me a phone? Why? I don't know what kind of phone this is. Oppo Hasselblad? Thank you? Now you might be thinking that them just sending a free phone was a nice gift. <laughs> Which I thought that too at first. But no, there was actually a very specific reason why I needed this phone. I guess we'll try using that phone with the glasses and we'll see what happens. How about we just go ahead and open... Sorry, I'm completely... Bleh. I'm bruh. <laughs> I don't really have a word for it. You ever feel just bruh? And then here we go. Here we are. The babies. The puppies. The glasses. Very comfortable. I assume they would have sent me whatever I need to play my Switch with this. This is the Nreal adapter right here. It has HDMI and USB-C. I don't think that's gonna be for Switch. And then this is just a power brick. Oh, did they send me this? Oh no, that's a lightning adapter. Oh, so that is for Apple. I don't need that, because I have this, an Oppo. You might like your Apple. Sure, I got an Oppo, yeah. I'm worried that they sent a pair of glasses to a Nintendo Switch channel and forgot to send the thing that I need to play it on Switch, but let me plug in and see what happens. 
That would be nothing. All right, let me see what happens. So the Steam Deck, I'm gonna load up Tales of Arise. You guys won't be able to see, but my brilliant editor, Zach, absolutely crushed the last video with us. It's probably right here, right now. Look at that, how cool is that? I love Zach. Zach, I love you. Hello? I love you. Oh my god. Oh, this is nice. Oh, hello. Wait a second. This Sony OLD screen. Let me look at the instructions here. To, to, oh my god. Sorry. It's just loading up and it looks so vibrant. But then after that, everything did not work right away. This adapter here is to be used with the Switch dock. Surely there's a way to do it portably with Switch. That's what I liked about the Virtru. So yep, there is no portable support for the Switch with the Unreal glasses. In fact, the only way I could get to see my Switch through this portably was by using the Virtru dock that this company had sent me for their glasses. What if I took the Virtru pass-through box they gave me? I'm gonna load up Hades. <laughs> <laughs> if I combined these products together, I almost have the perfect experience. Okay, let me turn up the sound. Okay, I can't do it here. Can I do it here? Okay, I cannot figure out how to switch to sound. It was on mute, and there was no way of pass-through controls for the sound, so the only way I could ever play Switch with these portably is on mute by using another company's product. How is there nothing in the instructions about how the sound works? Was there anything in that app about how the sound works? It says I can use AR space to turn them up, but then I can't be connected to my Switch. This made me feel like I was doing something wrong. Because because this didn't make any sense. Why would this company have even sent me these glasses if that was the case? But no, I wasn't doing anything wrong at all. From here, I spent almost an hour trying to get the mobile app to work with the glasses. Because it turns out I can't use my phone with the glasses. It doesn't support my phone. It needed to be used on the other phone, which is why they sent that one in the first place. But I can't just, you know, do it easy. I mean, I can't just download an app on that phone and start playing. No, it needed all of my information ever. I had to put my entire life into this knockoff phone I was sent, which felt very shady. The phone came with like messages on it and other, it seemed like a used phone. And I was just supposed to put all of my social security information into it. I have to make a Google Play account and it's making me add a PayPal and I can't skip. This is a nightmare. I am doing this to try and turn the volume up so that I can play on Switch. I also accidentally just minimized the tab I was working on. I don't know how this phone works. I, I don't know how to bring up tabs. Where are my tabs? I'm trying everything that would work on my phone for tabs. Dude, where are my tabs? Everything I touch, it makes me accept some new condition. I can search in English, but everything else is in Chinese. Not to mention it was all in Chinese. So the more I struggled with this, just the further into madness I descended. And now it's asking me for PayPal again. It's all in Chinese. I don't like putting all my information into this phone that I didn't want. Well, this was an elaborate prank to like hack into my YouTube account. Now I'm logged in with my Google account, but still need to make an Unreal account with that Google account login. And now it's saying invalid sign up. What do you mean invalid sign up? What do you want from me? Oh, this sucks. I just want to turn up the volume. I feel like an old man yelling at the cloud right now. I'm going to try one more time. Okay, that time... Pressing Google, just auto linked. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Okay, volume. I just turned the volume up to full. Well, we did what we wanted to do. We'll unplug with the sound at full. We'll plug back into this. We'll turn the switch back on. I still can't hear anything. And this is just controlling the brightness again. So this company sent me glasses after seeing me review these glasses that I used on my Switch, thinking, oh, try ours now, but it doesn't work with Switch. Unless I use the box the other company sent me, but then I can't hear anything. Nothing makes any sense. I'm not sure if this is the experience everyone will have. Like if you buy the glasses, do you also get the mobile phone? But that makes it really hard for me to rate my experience. Even if they did work with the Switch and everything was hunky-dory. How do I convince people to buy this mess? That came with Apple chargers and an Oppo phone? I actually just had a crazy thought. If you can't control the volume, then what happens when it is docked the way they want it to be? I've plugged it in over here. I have the little adapter that they sent. I am now looking at 
my Switch in here. Good news, there is audio. But guess what? I still can't turn it up. I'm trying to turn up the volume here on the Switch itself. That does nothing. There is no option on here to turn up the volume. And when the Switch is docked, you can't go into the settings and turn up the volume. So as far as I can tell, you get one level of sound. You have on sound. You also, of course, need to be playing close to the dock. So I would have to stand here like a freaking goofy goober staring through instead of just looking at the monitor that I have in front of me. Okay, so after emailing them, I did find out that there is a way to control sound. It's not just one volume. You have to hold down the brightness for a stupidly long time and then it will switch over to volume settings. And you have to do that every time you restart these things. But it's fine. At least there is a way to control the sound. Only when the dock though. And the cord. If I'm this close to a dock, I'm this close to a TV. You know what I mean? I just don't get it. Yeah, it works with my phone. Yeah, it works with my Steam Deck. But I have a Nintendo Switch channel and I review products for the Nintendo Switch. And this doesn't work with the Switch. And now normally what I would do is email the company and tell them, hey, look, I don't feel like I can make a video about this because it doesn't work with the Switch. And also because you sent me a weird box of mismatched gifts and I'm not sure I want to recommend this to my audience anyway. So I might just not make a video about this if that's okay. And then they proceeded to bug me every day since then. So if they really want a video this bad, Here's what I have to say. Great screen, works great with Steam Deck. Audio is pretty good, but I preferred the audio in the virtual glasses and the screen in these are pretty comparable. These will work with your Nintendo Switch though. So which pair do you wanna buy? If you were to buy either. Oh, but the story doesn't end there. Yeah, this complete Frankenstein of a video continues. I finished this video a month ago at this point. I mean, everything you've seen up until this point was the video that I've had finished. And I just felt like if I had nothing nice to say, I didn't want to say anything, even though I was being begged to say something. To this point, they have sent over 100 emails asking me where the video is. I was going to completely ignore it and then I finally broke. But I said, no, I cannot make this video. I even said to them, I would return them back to them. Give me your return shipping address. I don't want these things. They never actually replied to that. They just ignored me for a while and then told me they had a new device that was going to fix my undocked issues. And then I said, fine, send it over if it's going to fix my issue and save the video. And then they just went back to spamming me the same message again, which I assume this is where I'm going to be at until I actually make this video. So they sent it over and it arrives like this. Looks like a pack of wolves got at it. I don't know if that was FedEx or them, but it's basically opened already. So why don't we take a look in it? They said, please don't show the package we send you because it probably won't represent the product very well. Now looking at it, it's really not that different to whatever the heck they sent before. Um, of course I'm going to show what I was sent. This is the experience you've given to me. We got like a little first generation iPod looking thing here. I not really get any instructions. Well, I guess I'd probably have instructions here. Okay, so it can connect to the phone. God, please tell me I don't have to worry about that. In fact, you know what? Don't need that part. Let's just focus on this. If this requires a phone connection, I'm out. Okay, okay, all right. Power, power. The switch is already thrown to something, which is good news. Okay, the moment of truth. The thing that I have been trying to do for the last two months. Uh, It says updating your glasses. Let me, uh, let me get, where's my phone? Set up dating glasses for a split second and then that went away. So I assume it's gonna turn on at any second. I have faith, this is it. This is the one. Please connect to your Wi-Fi. God damn it. I just wanted to plug and play. I did not want all of this. I thought this box was just a power bank and a pass through and now it's downloading a one gigabyte update. Ugh. I was really hoping to just plug in my switch and play. Uh, the upload's complete. Oh, now it's, sorry, that was downloading the update. Now it's installing the update. This is taking longer than the download. I'm gonna learn some Japanese while I wait. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Is that a bus stop? Konbini wa soko deska. Is Britain big? Hotare wa koko deska. The university is there. Oh, my glasses are done. It says x-ray, x-real beam. It's very faint. You can't see it. I can. And 
Updating your extra glasses. Now it's updating the glasses. All right, that's gone away. I see, oh, oh no. The screen is here and it's not moving with me. If I look away from it, I can't see it anymore. It's not coming with me. It's stuck in one place. Where did the rest of the instructions go that I ripped up? Okay, okay, all right, please. Can make the screen bigger and smaller, but it's still, it's still stuck in one place. Oh, I did it, okay. Wait, no, 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 that's really, no, 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 I don't like that. Because it cuts off the screen when I look around. Let me see if I can show you this. But it starts to cut off a side of the screen. You see, you see that? How it's like cutting down into the screen? That's what they call smooth follow. And then there's body anchor, let me show you that. Where it only stays in one place, but then cuts off the screen if you try. See how it's just cutting the screen off and it disappears? I can't see it over here. I have to come back and find it. You have to be kidding me. All I want! is to see the game in front of me at all times and to be able to hear it. That is it. I've given this so many chances. I tried again. I am done. Here is the video. I can't recommend this to anybody because of how it is shipped and how it arrived. The presentation is absolutely awful. The product is doesn't do what another product is capable of and that product is readily available on the market right now and you can find links for that on my channel i'm done 